when I usually when I when I tell you about sort of this early journey, then people mention wget because wget also downloads HP, right? Yes. And wget actually existed before um, before that. Um, the, the first version of wget was released earlier in the year 1996. So mm -hmm. they actually, I think they were like half a year before me or something. Uh, um, January 1996, I, it says on. Wikipedia yeah, Wikipedia. So I, but I didn't know about them. I didn't find, I, I guess also that by the time, you know, when I wanted that first little thing to just download current rates, I just wanted something dead simple. So I guess that if I had found WGET at that time, I would probably have ditched that anyway, because I wanted something much smaller and simpler, mm -hmm. uh, not knowing exactly how things work. So, but I didn't. So it took, I, I don't know when I realized that WGET existed. It was at least a long time afterwards. Um, and by the time I understood it, I sort of thought of the differences to be bigger than just you know ditching my project and going with that because already when i understood that wget existed it we were different projects and we had different mindsets and different ideas how to do things mm -hmm. we have an an overlap so sure both mm -hmm. tools can download stuff but otherwise i think they differ in in so many different ways so they actually are sort of they make sense to be two different separate projects mm -hmm. So what do you see as the advantages of your project over something like WGET? Uh, well, I think um, if um, I really shouldn't no, say that, what, I, what that, WGET that's, does that's totally or what's fine. their primary, <clears throat> but, but uh, uh, WGET, for example, is very good at, you know, downloading stuff recursively, for example, mm -hmm. of, because it knows how to parse HTML and, and CSS and stuff like that to find everything. Curl has nothing of that. It doesn't understand content at all. So if you download HTML, sure, it can download HTML, but it doesn't know what HTML is. So it can't find any links or images or anything. So there's no recursive ability and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So um, that's one of the primary things and that's one of the things i've always tried to maintain in curl curl never understands the content neither upload download it's just a transfer machine it doesn't know anything about what it transfers right so so i always wanted curl to be sort of specific just for the transfer up or down and and basic transfers from the beginning and then you add the fancy stuff with options so mm -hmm. that you can craft it exactly how you want the transfer to be done and it's sort of it's there it does the transfer and then you add you uh, customize it accordingly however you want it to however you want to change it that also makes it pretty um it also makes it a good way to you know how it works and it remains working like that even if we add new features mm -hmm. we rarely add them by default right so it pretty much works the same way as it did last year but now <laughs> the next year maybe you can add some new options to make it do other things to improve that or change that. I would imagine not focusing on the content of the pages also makes it a lot easier to sort of add in new protocols and then not have to worry about like, how do I handle the specific kind of data being transferred over that protocol, which would make it a lot more, it would add a lot more maintenance burden if you were really worrying about like, okay, so we have HTML here, we have markdown files from this protocol, we have these files and these files. It's going to add a lot of extra work that just being like, okay, it doesn't matter what the protocol is, we download, we upload from it, and that's pretty much as far as the important relationship ends. Yeah, and I think that is um, perhaps most notable when, when you do email protocols with Curl. Mm -hmm. Like if you download IMAP or you upload SMTP, because I want to, I want to see them as download, upload, right? You don't read emails, you download emails, you don't send emails, you upload data to SMTP. Mm -hmm. That curl doesn't know anything about the contents, right? It doesn't know email protocols. So if you want to send an email with curl, right? If, because it can speak SMTP, but it has no, okay. it doesn't format the content for you. So you mm -hmm. have to sort of, yeah, you have to write the entire content correctly and then right. use curl to send it. And that way you can do it, but curl doesn't know about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I think, for me, it has been a really, it has helped me to, it has helped me all the way to keep the focus really on what yeah. curl is and what it isn't. I mean, it's still grown ridiculously much anyway, but at least, you know, you have to have the line in the sand somewhere. This mm. is curl, this is not curl. So it's good to have that in some ways, at least to know that, no, 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 now you're talking about content. Content is for someone else. So mm -hmm. you create the content, you use curl to send the content or receive mm -hmm. the content. 